Hi everyone! <laughs> so this is another Halloween look. This is my now fifth look of my um, Halloween kind of series. So if you can't already tell by the title, this look is kind of like a demon inspired look, like with the face peeling off and things. Um, obviously just using it creating liquid latex and like face paint kind of thing um, it's really it is actually quite simple to do if you have this stuff to do it it's not like tons of work it's just basically like painting stuff on your face and then done it's kind of quite fun as well something a little bit different if you do like this video then don't forget to smash it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below it is completely free and help me out tons and if you would also like to be notified every time I upload a video then hit the little bell icon as well which will notify you every time I do um, so I reckon we just get straight into it and you can see how I created this look. Right, so like I said, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Um, at the moment, I'm just kind of winging it. I know how I kind of want it to be. Obviously, you've just seen how it looks. So I'm just going to get started and start doing the liquid latex kind of look as though the skin's kind of peeling off. Um, I'm doing it slightly different to my other video. I'm going to be using tissue paper in this one just because I kind of want it to look as though it's flicking up, whereas the tissue is a bit softer, so it wouldn't look as though it's kind of underneath. So I'm just going to do what I did last time and put the liquid latex on my silver pan. So I'm just gonna do the same as what I did last time and just coat with just the liquid latex first where I kind of want it to be. I think I'm wanting it to kind of come down from my head along my nose and then I am gonna to have to be careful on this crevice so I might actually just take it on my nose and then not put any here and have it connecting here because if I put it on here, it's just gonna peel off. Um, so I'll start with the liquid latex just on the paddle brush again. And just pop it where I'm wanting it. I was actually inspired um, a little bit to do this look from a um, another YouTuber. She did she did a video last year, and she did kind of like a demon look, but it was actually um, I'm trying to think. I'll do it here now. But she actually did it where. Um, it was just on her face and it was like peeling Um, I'll insert a photo here so you can see what it looks like and it looked really good so the same as last time we've literally just got to wait for it to dry so i'll just kind of speed back a couple of these, these pieces so then you know like start waiting for me to watch it dry for ages right so now this is tacky and almost dry i'm just gonna use the same technique that i had last time and just basically paper mache in it on just so that then we can get it to look as though it's like peeling For the nose bits, you want to make sure they're a little bit finer, so they're a little bit thinner like that. Because if you start using really bulky ones, it's going to peel off before you want it to peel off. Like I said before it's in my other video, um, I'll link how to create scars and stuff in my video in the card just a bit above so you can see how you do it with um just normal toilet paper if you don't have tissue paper which i didn't at that point in this bit you kind of want to make it look as though the skin's wrinkled So today, well, when you will see this video, it is the day before Halloween. So I hope everyone is excited. I've been watching some other like um, YouTubers Halloween tutorials and they all look absolutely amazing. If watching other people's video does not get you inspired for Halloween, I don't know whatever will. Right, so do you see what I'm doing? I'm not really putting any tissue here, just because if you do, 
what is literally going to happen it's just going to like all break up as soon as you start to make any facial expressions and I've been also really careful that I've kind of done it in like the line of my face so if I smile it sinks in there so when I pull that up it's not going to stick out too much but it's going to stick out a little bit you've just got to find what pla when you're placing it what suits your face best and just do it that way so we're just going to let this dry and then we'll go on with another layer so this is very repetitive unfortunately um so I'll just skip past the rest of it of me doing it and then we'll just get straight into how I'm going to create it. So. Right, so now that all this is dry, um, I've kind of extended it a little bit past just because I thought, well, if I'm going to cut into it and lift it up a little bit where my crease is, it might just pull a little bit more. So that's just what I've done. Um, what I'm going to do is do this half of my face normal. So I'm going to do it in normal foundation. So I'll show you how I cover that and things so you can see how I cover it up. But I will do the rest of my makeup off camera because it's just simple. You can just do whatever makeup you want to do. So I'm just going in with the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. And I'm going in with F4 first. I'm focusing on the bits of my face that does not have um, the latex on. So I'm mixing F4 and F3 together. And I'm going in with a sponge to blend this into my skin. cover it up I'm just going to be using the shade f4 just because it's darker and if you use something that's darker then it um, covers better than if you were to use um, something obviously that was lighter because if you use a paler foundation then what tends to happen is um, it kind of highlights it rather than um, covering it up so do you see what I mean it's kind of obviously it's not perfect but um, it makes it look obviously a little bit better Right, so that's what that is looking like now so it looks a little bit more blended now that obviously we've got all the makeup on it so i'm just going to finish the rest of my face makeup on this side and then i will come back and we'll deal with what we're going to do on here so i'll be back in a second right so this is this side of the face done now um what i'm going to do is i'm going to start to lift this up a little bit so like i said i'm just going to lift this up a little bit now So this bit, this is what I meant about, you know, like, don't get it too close because this bit's already lifting up, which is fine. But I might cut into that a bit more so it looks a bit more... So I'm just kind of spinning it a little bit, just so that we've got like a flap. So do you see what I mean? Like I'm just going to try and pinch a couple of bits so that it looks a bit more as it is. Right, so I'm just going to leave it like that now so you can kind of see that it's starting to like look as though it's flicking up. Like that, I've got a couple of ridges, so I'm just going to kind of rub this bit away here. Just so that then I've not got like any texture where I'm painting 
the first pen in a minute. So I'm gonna use the um I'm gonna use this palette. I still don't know how to pronounce the name, I'm sorry, but I just got it off Amazon, I think it's like seven pounds. Um, and I'm going to go in with this red shade here. And I'm just gonna be taking this just on a flat foundation brush and then painting all of this part of my face with this. Right, so there we go, we've kind of got like all the red down now and now I'm going to kind of go in and just work on certain areas. So I want to make my eyebrow really dark and black and I'm going to make it a little bit more arched. So to do that, I'm just going in with an eyebrow brush which I know sounds really strange but I just think if I do it with an eyebrow brush I will find it a hell of a lot easier to do. So with the same brush, I'm just going to go around the nose with the black, making this really dark and kind of sunken. I'm gonna go in with a more kind of like domed brush and I'm just going to like add some darkness around the eyes. So just so then. Just like that. I do also need to kind of create like a really dark hollow, so we're just gonna see how this goes doing it this way. Obviously first time doing this so we'll see how it goes so I'm just gonna take this and bring it down like that yeah that's all right then we're gonna blend this out Go over my lips with the black. That's really intense. I don't know how intense this is. Upside is if you do make a mistake you can literally just use the red brush to kind of go back over it um, all I'm doing is just blending out the black edges but I still want the black so I'm just softening it like so now I'm just gonna work on like the creases so I'm going to go in with the black and the kind of um, 
with that kind of shade just there it's like a ready kind of purpley color and I'm just working underneath here just so that it's got that kind of sunken effect a bit more and just blend that out with the brush to see what I mean it just looks a bit more sunken in now so I'm just working along doing this looks see that looks a lot better than what like this does doesn't it that just looks like it's been plonked there which evidently it has at the moment until we do this So I'm just being a little bit more precise here. I'm just going into the fold of the crease just here. I'll just zoom in a little bit. To see what I'm doing, I'm just going right into here where I've created that kind of fold line. I'm just popping some darkness in it. And I'm gonna do the same here. Right, and then just to darken up my like inner waterline on top, just so that we've got no lightness. You could go in with contacts, but I don't have them. Um, I'm just going to be taking um, the Makeup Academy Smoking Eye Pencil in Black Smoke. So that's just looking a lot darker now, which is a lot better. And then if you did just want to blend that a little bit, just so that then we've not got any harsh bits, just use like the shorter brush that you've had and blend it in like so. I think this could be the finished look done. Oh, after I'm dropping stuff. Um, obviously it's just like my interpretation of it you can do whatever you want you can make it a bit more like a demon if you want this is just how I've done mine Um, I really like the way that the skin pulls up and like you can see like the dark bits where the crevices are um, and like where the skin's lifting a bit more under here but then it's quite tight here but you've still got like the kind of uh, skin peeling going on Um, it is really easy to do if you've just got the products like you could literally just use like anything really um as long as you've got liquid latex and tissue paper the rest of it's just makeup you can do whatever you want it looks a lot better with your hair down because obviously then you can it kind of hides where it connects into your hair um it's something a little bit more gory but at the same time um you've got like the pretty side as well um it's just a little bit more kind of um if you definitely want to look as or well, you've got halloween makeup on um Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed um, just seeing me how I create it, just having a play around. Um, and I hope everyone has a great Halloween tomorrow. And let me know which of my Halloween looks you like the most in the comments down below. This is now my fifth look. Um, so let me know which one you like the best. Whether you prefer like the more sexy cat and devil vibe or if you like it to get a bit more kind of Halloween -y and gothic and you know. I personally really like how it came out considering I was just kind of winging it to begin with to see where we kind of went with it but I really like how it came out so yeah if you did enjoy this video then smash it a big thumbs up and then hit that subscribe button down below because it helps me out tons and yeah I will just see you in my next one obviously we won't be doing any more like this until next year so thank you very much for watching guys bye